Aha, there we are, and this, children, is why you run checks on your microphone before you start recording. Hey guys, how's it going? Wham here. Welcome back to Valheim. Uh, normally I wouldn't start on this menu, especially not on the second episode of the series, but I did notice something here in the changelog. And it says, Rebalanced HP stamina on most foods, more stamina on HP foods, and more HP on stamina foods. That was like my main complaint. That's fantastic. Great. Not that it wasn't really a complaint, just more of something you would have had to get used to, I suppose. Alrighty, back with our boy here, Glibschnar. What a fantastic name. It's over here, if you didn't know. Let's take a look at our foods here. How much did they actually adjust this? Looks like they've maybe doubled the stamina that you get from health foods. And, eh, but similar doubled the health you get from stamina foods. Alright. I mean, you know, I've... I'm not one to complain about that kind of system. Look, I've beat Dark Souls. I'm a big game player, you know that. And I don't generally have problems with games, you know, unless it's for the funsies, but... As far as difficulty is concerned, the game wasn't particularly hard. So, I mean, they, yeah, balance changes are based on the community feedback, and I understand that I'm an outlier when it comes to that community, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy for it. I am just one-shotting the dick off of these here necks. So we're running around here naked. We probably shouldn't be running around naked, but, uh... I need one more piece of deer skin to make me some pants. You know what we could do, actually? We could take a risk and go try a troll. Because, I mean, troll armor is probably what anybody who plays this game stays on for a lot of the game before they get to the endgame stuff, so... Why do you guys go try and kill a troll? I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? Mayhaps I should make a bow first. I could take down a troll with a bow. Let's focus on making a bow. Good call, Whammo. So what do we need for our bows? We just need some leather scraps, Well, we need eight of them and ten wood. I have neither of those. Mm, nope, neither of those. Okay, well, just like last episode, we're gonna spend the beginning of this one boar hunting. Or I suppose I am, because, you know, I cut a lot of that out. Most of the last episode was spent boar hunting, for me, not for you. So, um, I'll see you in about a half hour, I guess. Ah, uh, you don't, you know what I don't need a bow to do? Go in these caves. So let's go in these caves real quick, what do you say about that? This shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Oh, Jesus, these skeletons are gonna be a little tough, though. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, Hey, I was just talking about how you guys were a little bit El Tuffadore. Excuse me, can you stop doing that? How did I miss him with that? Are you sneerious right now, game? Yeah! Only 10 damage? What kind of bullshit is this? Don't shoot me. Alright, look, I'm gonna die if I don't start actually fighting these guys here. Okay, that's good. What do you do? He's not bad. What? <laughs> Oh my god. I also think it's funny how I, uh, you know, died to a basic one-star skeleton after just talking about being good at video games. <laughs> uh, if that's not just my life. Also, you may be wondering, Hey Whammo, how do you plan on beating a troll if you can't handle one skeleton? And you know what? The answer to that is, shut up. I can do it, because I'm good at video games, okay? It's the, it's the new stamina system. It's throwing me off. I just gotta get used to it. That's what it is. Plus, I was being the big dumb. That was the problem there, too. The big dumb, no so bueno. I'm just gonna have to stick to being the little dumb. Uh, yeah, dungeon, dungeons and caves across the 10th universe. Found across the 10th world. What is that? Are we on the 10th world? What? There were civilizations here before us? Well, that's interesting. Where did my one-star skeleton friend go? He appears to have learned what's good for him and, uh, effed off. So that's good. Get in there, Glibschnar. You little baby. Now hopefully I don't die in here. Well, let's just go ahead and calm the hell down, Whammo. Make sure you eat your meatsies. Got room in my inventory, I got weight in my inventory. I think we're good. Let's check this bad boy out. Now if I remember my cave system, these bad boys are stocked with skeletons out the wazoo and skeleton spawners. Now I do know that the spear is not good for skeletons, guys. Don't, don't at me, all right? I could get a blunt weapon if I truly wanted to kill these things strong-like. I just didn't do that. I. Would make a club, but I can't, so we're not doing that. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, let's just calm down a little bit here. I also need to count my hits, so I don't need to take my third hit here. Let's take two. Take two. Pokey pokey. Uh, the counter hits like that when they're recoiled is... I must be like double damage. I think it's weapon dependent, but... Need to uh, try for that wherever I can, I do think. It's kind of necessary. The spear is nice in here, though, because it doesn't have a wide swing arc. You can hit the walls sometimes with other stuff, and it's no so bueno. Well, apparently you can hit the walls with your spear, too, which is pretty friggin' dumb. Come here, you bastard. Hey. Doing good. Doing good. So that... Hello? 
Oh, lots of noises going on in here that weren't there before. So this is what we came in here for, is the Certling Cores. Late game, there are other options for finding those, but early game, we got to go in here. And I think it is on the current tree that I'm part of. Hey, there's another one star. Skull, my goodness, man. Are you mad? That hurt, I, it hurt so bad it turned me Scottish. Need to take three hits on him. No, 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 do not want, need stamina. Okay, come out here, buddy. Come out here, come out here. Uh, he cuts through my shield when he hits, which isn't great. What's it for? Oh, it's only three damage. We can we can tank a few of those. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so I just got... Whoa, easy, calm down. So I just got myself a little worked up, that's all. Yeah, no big deal. And we got ourselves a Skellington Trophy, I like that. Um, also, there's a system to how I go through these caves. I'm always going to the left. Always start to the left and never open a door that you don't clear. That's That's basically it. It makes it so you do not get lost in these caves, despite the amount of Indiana Jones rolling boulders I hear in the background. I think we should be fairly safe in here. Well, that's not a good thing to see, is it? Ouch. I don't know how they... Nice. Good job, Spear. I don't know how they hit. I don't know. I can't... I can't see their wind-up. I'm just guessing. So... Oh, fucking shitballs, Batman. Okay, we're just gonna... Just calm down here, Whammo. You know how to do this. You can kill him. Come on. Fight me. Fight me. Do it. Or... You can stand there. Neat. Must have went outside of his aggro range or something. Oh, I should pick up these yellow mushrooms as well. I actually- Hey, you sneaky, sneaky little guy. I see you there. One, two, three, four bats. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, hi. Is that a spawner? Can I see a spawner in there? Hold on. Skellingtons, calm down. Both of you just relax, okay. Everybody, calm the hell down. Woo -hoo -hoo. And we're good, okay. One skeleton at a time is pretty easy. Two of them? Um, we do take three chip damage regardless, it looks like. Yep. What was that, seven to five? Well, I guess that's two. So. Well, poopsies. Uh, is that a skelly spawn? It is. I need to kill this. That's cool. Hey, good job stabbing that bone pile there, uh, Viking Master. You definitely did it. Cool. Good hits again. All good hits. Good hits all around. I appreciate what's happening here. Okay. Everybody calm down. Okay. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it, both of you. I need a plan. Excuse me, I'm gonna shut this on you guys. <laughs> don't, don't mind that creaking noise in the distance and or that door shutting in your face. I should have grabbed some more logs before I came in here. That's a one star. No, 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 run. Run, Viking man, run. Run like your life depended on it. Oh my goodness, because it really does. Whew. Didn't realize that was a one star Skellington boy there. <laughs> Outside this cave is not fun right now, kids. Not fun at all. I'm gonna throw a campfire right here. We're gonna add some fuel to it, and we're gonna take a squat right yonder. Since we're sheltered in here, we can gain the, um, the rested buff whilst we are in here, which... Uh, it's, it's not necessary for exploring these caves, or these, uh, what, what, crypts, whatever it's called, but it is definitely helpful. I guess either we die of CO2 poisoning, or, um, we get the rested buff for the rest of the time we're in here. Either way. It'll be fun. Okay, let's try to do this again. Um, remembering that I cannot, for some reason, hit that gosh darn spawner. Can you both not fit through that door? Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, that was too many hits. Let's just take it slow. Okay. Now. Can we hit the spawner? A little dumb. Okay, but we have the logs now, so we can just make a club. Actually, the club might do more damage to the spear in this situation. Let's take a look here. Uh, blunt for 12 is average, and this is pierce for 26. So let's just let's just see if it's any kind of improvement on the skeletons skeletons here. Oh, they're both they're both bow guys. I didn't realize. No. The plus one spear is superior to the club. Ouch! I'm gonna die to this. 
stupid archer guys. They do a lot of chip damage to this shield. That's something they've definitely changed. I don't think you took that much chip damage before. Let's quit beating around the bush here and just finish this. Break that frickin' spawner finally. Gee, many crickmas. That was... Ow. Cock. Let's see what they do when they're stunned. Well, that didn't stun you. It's fine. The club might actually do more damage. If I'm, if I'm being realistic, it very well may. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on in here either. Oh, I would have walked right past that. Nothing I want out of there. I'm actually not going to take these rubies. If I need to get them, I'll know where they're at. I don't think they despawn in this chest, so that's good. We're just in here for the Certling Cores. In any case, I think that is the cave clear. Yes, yes it is. Fantastic. Also, there's another cave up there that I can see. And then that one that I showed in the end of the last video is over yonder way somewhere. Uh, actually, it's that way, but yeah. There's two other caves we can go to, although I don't think they will be necessary. Let's head back to the house real quick. And that should be enough wood for a crude bow. Fantastic. Why don't we put that in a slot that's actually useful on my hot bar? There we go. So, we can make leather pants and chest. Um, That's neat. But you probably saw the title of the video, which I just now decided what it's going to be, so we're not going to do that right now. Oh, hey, look. If you didn't know, spears float. So if you throw your spear over a deer accidentally, not, not that that's what I did, I definitely didn't miss a deer just now. Your spears float, so you don't have to worry about them sinking to the bottom and losing them. That's nice. Okay. Well, it's time to go regret everything I've just said I'm going to do and hunt us a troll, I do think. Let me just make sure I remember how this bow works. Okay, we have a block, we have an arrow. Can I pick those back up? Give me it. Give me it. I cannot. Okay. Good thing we made 60. I should note to shoot more boars and or birds while we're out here. Because uh, we're on limited quantities of both feathers and leather. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. It was just funny to me. Oh my goodness. That's the first time I've shot something at distance. It shoots just like I remember, which is good, I suppose. And like I said, the weapons in this game feel fantastic. They shoot like you would suppose they would shoot, which is good. Just slightly more drop than I assumed on the bow, which is fantastic. It's exactly what you want. Let's see if I can hit this deer. Can you guys even see that deer over there? I certainly can. Can I hit the bird next to him? Well, it helps if you actually go where I aim your bow. Oh, it's a pig shrine! It's a pig shrine! My prayers have been answered. Pig shrine! I'm happy it's a pig shrine. Happy it's a pig shrine. Pig shrine. Pig shrine. Everybody pig shrine. Pig shrine. Pig shrine. Everybody pig shrine. Oh, I'm going to take a cue from Blitz there and say, That was my song. How do you like it? I just wrote it. Shit. Did those resources sink? You gotta be pooping me right now. I got so caught up in my pig shrine song that I forgot that these resources sink. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, whilst we are in here, I think I might keep my eyes open for copper, which is a resource that spawns here that you can get with the hard antlers. Um, and maybe, Jesus, a couple of other things too. Uh, nothing really, nothing really that's super important. I'll show you one here in a second once I finish fighting these. Grey Dwarfs, which was apparently spawned in force the moment I walked in here. This right here, Carrot Seeds. Uh, they're fairly rare. They're easy to spot, thankfully. You know, may as well get all the resources of the next area that you're supposed to be in while you're in there instead of just strictly focusing on trolls, right? Uh, this is a Grey Dwarf Nest. This spawns Grey Dwarfs, which are in and of themselves not terribly difficult. They are if I sprint up to them, though, which isn't great. Did you really just spawn a two-star on me? Yeah, I have a shield this time, asshole. You can't touch me when I have a shield. Yep. Very, whoa, whispery. Hey, it's a Grey Dwarf Brute. Uh, we don't want to try and fight that head on, actually. Ouch. Jesus, it just spawned three Grey Dwarf Brutes. Alright, look, this is how we're going to do this. No, run, don't. I hate how it, it actually records the last input you do. If you click three times within a certain time span, it actually does three attacks. Very like Dark Souls in that respect, and it's something that I really enjoy about it. It means you actually have to pick your attacks. There we go, got it. And I got the Ancient Seed. I think that's all we want out of this. Uh, though those Brutes do have a chance to drop Ancient Seeds by themselves, they're not entirely useful, so we're just gonna kinda fuck off real quick. Hey, I called it a giant, I meant to troll. We, this is a bad time to come across this, actually. 
I am carrying quite the convoy behind me. Um, well, I suppose I could turn and try and face it. What is it? Just three Grey Dwarfs? I do not want to fight this troll when I have Grey Dwarfs in my ass because it's just not going to end well. Now we've got all that crap taken care of, let's toss all the garbage out of inventory, eat some booberries and some of our best food, I do think. What's honey look like? Honey is an 835. Um, booberries are 825, so honey is better than blueberries. Hmm. Interesting. That's fun. Okay. Time to grab this thistle and then bow ourselves down a troll. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How's your day going? You having a good one? Yeah? So this is what we do. I'm, I'm fairly confident I can kill this thing. Assuming I don't... Oh, God. Run out of my rested buff exactly as I start to face him. At least he's not a log guy, so that's good. Uh-oh. Now we got some gray dwarfs in the mix. That's not good. I think... Will the giant hurt the gray dwarfs? I don't actually know. Can you hurt each other? No. Doesn't look like they can. I was gonna use the giant to fell some trees. Uh, specifically these pine trees, but... Um, looks like that's probably not gonna happen anymore, so... That might hurt. Oh, we're okay. Oh my Christ, more? I know I didn't aggro that nest, come on. Come on game, you're just being mean to me now. This is unfair. Dude, it is just spawning gray dwarfs over there. And they're all just coming over here. That might be a bug. I don't think that's meant to happen like that. Okay, well this is a very precarious situation here because if I get stuck or get hit by something, I'm dead. And this giant is like halfway done. Or this troll, I keep calling him a giant, sorry. We're on bad terrain. Do I draw? I might try and draw. Let's draw. I, uh, kite, sorry, I suppose we would call this. We're gonna kite over here into the plains. No, it's not the plains, the meadows. Actually, I could use them to knock this oak down. That's not a bad idea. I wonder if he can actually hurt the oak tree, the, this big tree here. Come on, guys. Everybody, come on. Can you hurt the oak tree, Mr. Giant? It's unfortunate, but it does mean- Oh, he actually can hurt it with his pound attack. Interesting. Keep doing your pound attack, Mr. Giant. Hey! Hey! Ow! He knocked the tree down. Hey! Look at there. Isn't that fancy? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, keep hitting the tree. Just don't- Don't swing it at a high velocity at me because of the physics system. That'd be very bad news bears. Damn it! Very bad news bears. Where did you two come from? You three. Jesus, there's still more of you gray dwarfs? Hey, broke another tree. Come on, break this big one. Break the big one, guys. Break this big tree. Do it. Yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. Some big brain moves right here. Jesus, so many graylings. No. Ah! <laughs> I haven't died yet, so that's something. You know, I, I say this, and I probably shouldn't say it. Ouch. I keep calling him giant, Mr. Troll. Come on, hit the tree. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got fine wood. Got fine wood. That's a way to get fine wood early. I don't think I can make it with my level of crafting bench, but it's nice to have fine wood early. Come on. Come on. It's not, it's not early. I think copper axes can cut these trees down. Maybe not, though. I guess I don't actually know that for positive. And he did it. Yay. Well, that was fun. Good use for this guy. And now we're actually in the open, so... I shouldn't be able to have... I shouldn't have much trouble with finishing this guy off now. This fight has taken literally all day. Now would be a bad time to die, so let's not die. One more. One more arrow, and... Down goes the troll. Down goes Mr. Troll. I need all those rocks in my inventory. There we go. Pick all this garbage up. What, what did he drop that I don't want? There we go. Troll hide. Five troll hide. I think it takes ten to make anything, so I might have to kill another one of those. But I think that's a good stopping point, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Ooh, went a little long there. It was fun. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Outros and intros. My strong suit, suit for sure. Oh, I'm leaving. Bye.